Today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on ombre leather from the fashion and fragrance house Tom Ford. And to find out what I think of this one, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 70 of my Fragrance 365 project where I talk about a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So today's scent of the day is Ombre Leather from the house of Tom Ford which has been requested by a fair few subscribers to the channel uh, to feature in this 365 project so here it is. This was released in 2018 and the perfumer behind it was Sonia Constant. Now the first question that always gets asked uh, when you start to talk about any leather fragrance from any brand is how it compares to the legendary Tuscan leather also from the Tom Ford private blend. I will be answering that question but let's first start by taking a look at what's in this one in the note breakdown. Yes this one's quite a simple note breakdown. Uh, at the top we've got cardamom. In the mid, there's leather and jasmine sandback. And in the base, there's amber, moss, and patchouli. Okay, so we know that this is going to be dominated by the leather note, uh, but there's many interpretations of the leather accord. For instance, a Middle Eastern leather will have a, a different aroma to a European one, and obviously depending on how old and aged the leather is, etc. Uh, leather fragrance of, often get associated with smelling like car interiors, so by using that analogy, uh, it'll make it easier for me to kind of describe what I get from this one. The leather note uh, in this has an urban and oily smell that you'd find in something like a 1950s Mustang rather than the leather interior of a brand new Ferrari. It's a dirtier take on the note with the patchouli and the moss in the base giving it an earthier character which I think is a cooler and sexier version of Tuscan leather uh, which is more like the new car suite smelling leather interior. You know how you smell um, a vintage musty leather jacket that you pick up from? A vintage shop smells different to one that you'd buy uh, new from a high street shop. Well this is what I get from ombre leather. The amber and the jasmine uh, provide just the right amount of sweetness just to round everything off without it becoming too rich and sickly. Uh, we've also got cardamom in there to provide just a touch of spice uh, and I find this one much easier to wear than Tuscan leather uh, because it's much less dense, less pungent, uh, less animalic uh, and altogether just less, uh, less harsh. I also think the patchouli and the moss give it a more earthy scent character uh, but it is very smoothly blended, it smells modern and I would say that um, it is my favourite leather fragrance out of all the ones that I've tried and tested. The bottle design on this one is about as minimalistic as you're ever going to get with this all black matte finish and we've got the clear white branding. There is a, a nice little leather effect insert there on the front of the bottle which contains the uh, Tom Ford logo and the name of the fragrance. Underneath there's the batch code and all the other product information and then on, on top of the bottle we've got uh, the Tom Ford logo and that's embossed into the top of the cap. Um, the cap is a, it's a click on cap but it doesn't feel too snug, I don't think I'd want to pick that up by the cap but it, there's a bit of weight to it, it's uh, half metal and half plastic, it feels quite solid uh, but like I said I don't think I'd be too confident in picking that up by the lid. Uh, the spray quality is really nice, it's got a nice uh, fine mist and I think the overall presentation on this one looks really really classy and stylish, um, just that minimalistic look, almost like a black leather jacket. I tend to have a problem with when to wear leather fragrances and I only ever reach for one when I'm actually wearing a leather jacket or for casual situations. 
For some reason it doesn't feel authentic to wear them dressed up with like a suit uh, because you can smell this all overriding leather aroma uh, but there's just no leather to be seen anywhere. It's really weird because it's the, only the leather note that I think this way about. I can wear any other fragrance dressed up uh, but I just never do it with the leather scent but that's just probably me being a little bit weird and quirky. Uh, I would say this is a, an autumn and winter fragrance and I think it works best outdoors when it cuts through the cold air. You could wear it as an office scent if you worked in like a trendy type industry like graphic design or advertising, uh, but it's certainly not one for the boardroom. To me this is just an everyday casual fragrance for a modern younger man. The performance is really decent on this one, uh, but it's not a beast, which is not a bad thing. In my opinion, I think Tuscan leather performs too well, which makes it overbearing and clawing. This is pitched perfectly uh, with a nice projection uh, that will definitely get you noticed without pissing anyone off around you. It will also give you around about seven to eight hours of longevity, and it'll get you through a, a full working day with no problem. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the Leather Note. Uh, I don't dislike it, but it's just not one of my favourites. However, out of all the leather fragrances that I've sampled, I'd have to say that this is by far the, uh, the one that I enjoy the most. It's very easy to wear, and it smells the most realistic in my opinion. Most of the other leather fragrances that I've come across tend to exaggerate the leathery characteristics, which makes them come across more like caricatures of the real thing. This smells very modern and cool, and if you're in the market for a leather dominant fragrance, then this is one that I definitely think you should try, and I would probably give this one a solid 9 out of 10. So that's about it for today's scent of the day. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to keep these cold weather scents rolling in, and I'll be talking about a dark and mysterious one from Versace, so don't forget to tune in for that one. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And it's also great to hear your opinions, your critiques and your thoughts on all these fragrances that feature in the videos. So don't forget to let me know down in the comments section what you think of this one. So until next time, as always everybody, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye bye for now.